Hello. Um, so I am still in high school. My least favorite thing about high school is probably what we call the campus supervisors. Um, if you guys don't know who that is, the campus supervisors are these very large, very angry, kind of sad looking men who drive around in golf carts. It's really cute. And they get us in trouble for things like the dress code. So something you might hear a campus supervisor say would be, ma'am, that skirt is way too high up. You are distracting the other students. And I am a student. And I can speak from personal experience in saying that a dress code violation has never really set me too far off track. <laughs> you know, it's not like I'm sitting totally focused, brain wide open, ready to learn. And what's this? Spaghetti straps. <laughs> Oh, girl, show me your shoulders. <laughs> Forget Spanish worksheets. I am now aroused. It's a really weird place because the school, they hire these like balding middle-aged men whose sole purpose is to like scout out the freshman booty shorts. Like I think that might be their actual job title and it's, I, by the way, I hope they do a very thorough background check on these men because that is like the perfect job to get if you're creepy. That's like jackpot. They're gonna pay me for this? Awesome. And they take themselves very seriously too. That's the other thing. And the school takes it seriously. It's all about the dress codes. I'm gonna demonstrate something for you guys right now. Um, this is the principal of the high school giving the campus supervisors a pep talk um, a couple minutes before school starts one day in his office. All right, men, springtime, it's a big season for us. A lot of skin out there, a lot of teenage skin that needs a covering. Johnson, I want 50 mini skirt busts by the end of sixth period, don't test me. Rodriguez, what have you been doing, man? You used to be our top cleavage spotter. Who are you now, huh? The tank top rate of 97? That was you, man! Not this. Go out there and make me proud. My theory with these people who work at the school, and not the teachers, but the campus supervisors and the librarians and the ladies in the office, it's pretty obvious that they're kind of just angry at the world in general. Can we agree on that? Because it's... Woo! Yes. Obviously their dreams didn't really pan out the way they wanted them to. And hear me out. If you think I'm being mean or you disagree with me, let me ask you a question, sir or ma'am. When's the last time you asked a sweet little boy, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he said, well, gee, I want to gain at least 300 pounds and pull 14-year-olds off of each other. Or a sweet little girl with their sweet little pigtails. What do you want to be, sweetie? Well, I'll tell you. I want to get a perm. I want to get divorced three times. And I want to be an uptight secretary in the high school detention office. That's what I want to do. It's always a perm, by the way. My advice to you guys, if you ever see a perm, just get out. And if there's not a visible exit, break a window. Because nothing good is ever about to happen with a perm in the room. I don't care if it's a floating perm. I don't care if somebody you trust got a perm. I don't care if it's your mom. She will turn on you. You will wake up the next morning, walk down the stairs, she'll be like, excuse me, do you have an appointment? <laughs> the other interesting thing about high school is the teenage girls. They're very, teenage girls are very interesting because they have this way of talking to each other and communicating that's, it's unlike anything else in the world. It's this constant stream of words. I'll hear them at school like, yeah, so Grace texted me last night and she's like, what's up? I'm like, okay, what's up? We've been through hella stuff together recently. You're just saying like, what's up? Like nothing happened. I was just like, I'm done. Like I just put that like, I'm done. And then she commented on that picture. You know that picture I have with Candace where like in the bathroom with our bathing suits on, we have our butt stored each other. She's like, wow, attention taking much? I'm like, okay, you're cool. And I posted on my status, I was like, FML, I need new friends, text me. Thank you. And then she called me and I'm like, hello? And she started like going off on me, like saying hello stuff to me. I'm like, the only reason Brandon and I got back together is like, I couldn't do any better than him. Like the whole time me and Brandon were going out, like I guess he was saying hello stuff to her, but like how like she was so beautiful and like she, he wanted to get back with her and stuff. I know, and that like my boobs are hella small and everybody knows I wear a Christian bra. And it just makes you really irritated that she thinks she can talk to me that way, like after all the way, da, 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 da. turn your phone off. 
Like, when someone's mean to me, I take a nap. I eat some ice cream. It's so simple. And it makes me really wonder, like, if this is those girls in that situation, how do they respond in, like, a real situation? Like a real life, a tragedy or something. Yeah, so then this guy came up with like a ski mask and a gun. He's like, everybody get down the floor. And I'm like, okay, you're cool. <laughs> and then he like shot my brother and my dad. And I'm like, you would. <laughs> and then he took me in a stupid van, this abandoned warehouse. And he like cut my finger off and he taped it to this ransom note. And he gave it to my grandparents. And I was like, give me $500,000. I'll chop your granddaughter's head off. And I posted on my status. I was like, worst day ever. <laughs> FML. Text me. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to my <laughs>